Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Simple for Four Guys. So today, guys, let's talk about this Belgian Pro League. Guys, this was the best title race in Europe. Best title race. I don't want to hear anyone give me. Don't, I don't want to hear anyone tell me the Bundesliga. I don't want to hear anyone tell me the English Premier League. This one was the best, and was so fascinating. It was that on the final match day, all three of the teams were actually at top of the league at some point. You know, and it came down to the final match day. You know, it started off first. Let's start with the first, which um. Was uh, Gang versus uh, sorry Union SG versus Club Brugge. Club Brugge had they had nothing to play for. They were already out. There was no chance they could win the title. And Union SG were leading. They were leading for most of the game up until like the 90th minute, you know. And Club Brugge did an insane comeback to make it 3-1, and that pretty much destroyed any hope for Cl uh, Union SG to win the title. And it was crazy because, like I said, Union SG haven't won the league since like 1970, I believe. You guys can correct me in the comments. If I'm wrong. You know, and then we had Gank versus Antwerp. This was the game that I was more interested in because this one was the more, one that was more interesting, right? Because Gank, all they needed to do was to win their game at home, right? And if they win their game at home, irrespective of what, um, if they win their game at home, they would win the league, right? Now, that's assuming that um, I made the assumption that Union SG would win their game, so that would actually put them at the top of the table. So, yeah, basically, Union SG basically should have won this, you know? But Gank, man, they fought, they put it, you know, they scored just before halftime. And then the second half, man, Antwerp equalized. Then they took the lead. And then, would you guys believe it, in stoppage time, literally like the last minute of the game, I think, Aldo Rewild, you know, they got a center back, scores a fantastic goal to equalize. And for Antwerp, man, this is the first time they won the league since 1958. And also, it's the first time, I believe, in history, in their history, they won the league and the cup. Because remember, they won the cup earlier this season as well. So, yeah, for Antwerp, man, what an achievement for this club, man. An amazing, amazing job, guys. Amazing. Players to look out for for this team are from Ireland. The guy is great. Obviously, Aldo Weywold as well. And this is a very interesting team, guys. Very, very fun team to watch. Exciting team to watch. And, yeah, congratulations to them, man, for winning the Belgian Pro League. And once again, man, tough luck to Ghent, man. Um, to Gank, sorry, not Ghent. <laughs> and tough luck to um, Union SG, man. Um, it was a very fascinating, man. Very, very end-to-end, -end, man. What a final day it was, man. Like I said, the best league, uh, the best title race we've had in Europe this season. Like, it was the best. Like, no, I don't think any other um, European league comes close in the title race on this. So, like I said, man, um, they're going to be, I believe, in the second qualifying round of the Champions League. Let me actually just double-check that real quick. Just want to fact-check for you guys real quick. I believe, yes... Um, so let me look at this right here. So standings, guys, standing, standing. So yeah, bet, um, let's just look at this right here, guys. So, um, where is it? That's not what I wanted to look. Uh, where is it? I'm trying to look right here, guys. So, uh, let's go look at right here, guys. Let me just pull this up here, right here, guys. Um, so as you guys can see, this is the table. Let's go look at the, um, uh, let's go look at how this works, guys. Let's just look at how this works. So, yeah, as I said, man, shout out to um, Antwerp, man, for doing this, man. Antwerp, man, an amazing, amazing job they've done. So, as you guys can see, um, this is how it finishes. So, Antwerp actually qualifies for the Champions League playoff round. Oh, wow, the Champions League playoff round. So, this is the round just before the Champions League. So, yeah, let's hope we can see Antwerp in the Champions League, guys. Gang is going to be the Champions League second qualifying round. USG will be Europa League playoff round. And uh, then for Club Brewers, they're going to be in the... Europa Conference League second qualifying round. So, like I said, man, very, very interesting. And then, obviously, we also got Ghent. They're going to be qualifying for the Europa Conference League second qualifying round. So, like I said, man, shout out to um, this guy, man, Vincent Jason, man. Got twenty, got 18 goals in the season. So, congratulations to him. And, uh, yeah, clean sheets. But he's got 20 clean sheets. He was amazing. Uh, then, obviously, um, hat tricks as well, man. So, Amazing job indeed, man. What a season this was for the Belgian Pro League. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. And like I said, man, Belgian Pro League is on the rise, guys. These teams could do something in Europe next season, man. So we saw what Union SG did, and we saw what Gang did in respect of. Now we, let's see if Antro can follow up and through. So like I said, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Guys, remember guys to like and subscribe. Comment below your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.